All right, so 14.41 uh, says that we have an alarm clock that uh, ticks four times per second, and one tick is half of a period. So let's go ahead and write up here four ticks per second, and one tick is equal to half a period. Um, and we have the, uh, we're given that our balance wheel has a radius of uh, 0 0.55 centimeters and it's connected to a balance shaft with negligible mass and that the total mass of this uh, balance wheel is 0 0.9 grams. All right, so that's all of our given information and we're asked to find um, the uh, moment of inertia of our balance wheel about the shaft. So, um, our balance wheel is this little disc here, and right here we have our shaft. So, what we need to do is use the equation for moment of inertia of a disc, which is equal to mass times radius squared, or, you know, we can just remember pi r squared for the um, volume of a, of a sphere. So, uh, this is pretty easy. We already have all this information, so that's going to be 0 0.9 grams times 0 0.55 centimeters squared, and that's going to come out to be um, 0 0.25. 27 grams centimeter squared. All right, now the next part of the problem says what's the torsion constant of the uh, coil spring? So this, <laughs> this is where things get fun. So, the torsion constant, like the uh, spring constant, is given by K, and for uh, the general torsion constant equation is given by mass times 2 pi r over the period squared. All right, so then for that we can just really plug and chug. It doesn't really start to get interesting until we start converting it into the units that the torsion constant wants to be in. So we have our mass is 0 0.9 grams times 2 pi times our radius 0 0.55 centimeters all over our period which we know um, from the uh, from the uh, givens up here that one tick is half of a period. So, 0 0.5 um, seconds squared. So now, we do all this math and we find that our torsion constant is 42.99 grams centimeters squared per second squared. And the torsion constant is given in um, uh, Newton meters per radian. So what we need to do is convert all of this to Newtons and meters. And Newtons is one kilogram meter per second. So we want to convert this to kilograms and meters. So we know there's a thousand grams in one kilogram and there's a hundred centimeters in one meter, but this is squared centimeters. So to cancel this out, we're going to need to square that. Um, so then this will actually turn into 10,000 to three centimeters squared per meter squared. And then, so we have our grams canceling out, our centimeters squared canceling out, and we're left with kilogram meters squared per second squared. And then we do that math right there, and that's going to come out to be 4.299 times 10 to the negative 6 
kilogram meter squared per second squared. And again, we know that our newtons is one kilogram meter per second. So this is gonna come out to be 4.299 times 10 to the negative six newton meters per second. And we can just write that second as per radian, so newton meter per radian. And that is the answer. Huzzah!